Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and do a video that's often requested and I just never have done it. It's how to create a virtual machine. Um, a lot of times you'll see me switching between my virtual machine and my computer and a lot of people will say, hey, how do you have two computers running at the same time? It's a virtual machine. It's a virtual um, running copy of Windows you know, 8 or 7 or server, something like that. So I'm on my com my regular uh, regular computer right now, my my uh, desktop right here, and I have VMware Workstation installed. Uh, I've used VMware Workstation since it was in beta years and years and years ago. Um, you can go to VMware.com and learn more about VMware. It's kind of like uh, everything I use every day. It's uh, it's a very very good thing to learn and work with. If you're trying to get into IT or um, you have any uh, I don't know, desire to test stuff out, Workstation is awesome. It is pricey. I mean, uh, it's 187 bucks. It's on sale right now. It's normally $250. Uh, there's also some free stuff out there called, uh, what is it called? Like VirtualBox, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that and do a little uh, video on that as well. I think it's VirtualBox. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so uh, here's how I create a virtual machine for testing out stuff and for creating my videos and things like that. Uh, let's say I want to install a copy of Windows 8, but I don't own a copy. I don't want to go out and buy one for just testing. Microsoft is nice enough to give you evaluation copies of almost anything. So 90 days, that should be plenty of time. Okay, so your 90, your, uh, 90 days are up. You just spin up a new VM, a new virtual machine, and you've got 90 days again. So let's go through the whole process of creating a virtual machine. We'll double click on VMware Workstation. And we'll say create new virtual machine. And it comes up with a little wizard here. I'll just say typical. Uh, I will use a disk image. I'm not going to use Windows 10 right now. I'm using WinPro 8.1. We'll say next. You can, don't worry about the product key. You can just next out of that. You don't need that right now. Um, I'll, I can just make the password like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or something. It's fine. We can enter that later. Um, we will call this virtual machine. I want to give it a name because I need to delete it after this. I don't actually need this. So I'll say video 8.1 or 8.1. And I will place it in my external hard drive. If you're trying to do videos like I am, uh, go out and get an SSD and place them on the SSD. I have multiple SSDs in my computer, but um, I don't want to put this virtual machine on them right now. So um, let's see, virtual machines, new folder. We'll call it demo. Okay. We'll click next. It says, okay, how large would you like the hard drive? Um, 60 gigs is fine for testing. And we'll go ahead and click uh, customize hardware. So this is what the virtual machine is going to be composed of. Two gigabytes of RAM, not enough for Windows 8. So we'll just say 4,000 megabytes, so four gigs of RAM. Uh, I can go ahead and give it multiple processors all the way up to 16 if I want. Um, and the CD-ROM is going to be the ISO, so it's going to boot to that. And that's pretty much it. We'll say finish. So I go ahead and create this video. I think my external hard drives. Uh, let's see. What else do people ask? Uh, I'm going to add it. Oh, that there are pieces of benefit to VMware Workstation or any virtual for changes before some application. And then if something goes wrong, I just revert to that snapshot and I'm all good. I'm back to where everything was perfect. So, 
that's the major advantage of VMware. So that's kind of why everyone flocked to it from the beginning. You know, if you have a physical computer, you screw something up. Well, okay, well, you got to reinstall a hard drive or reinstall the operating system or it's just a mess. But with snapshotting, okay, just go right back to your snapshot. Bang, you're right back to, you know, when everything was perfect. So at this point, it just becomes a regular Windows 8 install. Uh, it goes pretty damn fast um, compared to, like, if you put in a DVD or something like that. So, uh, so I'll go ahead and pause the video while this is going. I went out and checked the pool real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and pause. Okay, guys, as you can see here, we have a Windows 8 computer. So I can type in my password, and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Excuse me. Wait, one. Okay. Windows 8 computer. It's just running in desktop icons. I, there we go. If I take a look at the hard drive, it's a 48, 49 gig free of 60 gig. All right. I can do things like, well, let's go ahead and create a snapshot. So before I make any changes. So I will go ahead and create a snapshot. Take a snapshot. Before software. I am meant. I have to get it's be a huge time saver, so so that can take a bit. I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, so I took my snapshot and I will just go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Next I am on a computer that looks normal. Let's go to File Hippo. So, you know, a virtual machine not good for gaming at this point. So my program is downloading somewhere. Let's go ahead and, well, I'm still going there. Stop it and refresh it. Come on. Sorry, I normally don't have trouble with this, but of course today when I go ahead and do a video, yes, I would. For some reason it won't download. Let me try it again. I never download uTorrent, so I, I don't know. So Okay, well, whatever. It's not downloading, so let's try Bear Share 12. Let's see if that'll come down. There we go. So um, we did take a snapshot before the software. Um, so we're installing Bear Share, um, some kind of, and um, let's say that, you know we made a terrible mistake and we need to go back. So that's what snapshotting will allow us to do. Like so, music app for Internet Explorer by Ask. Oh yeah, you know, it's going to install all this my PC backup. Just crap. It's all crap, crap. Which leads me to another discussion. Like, if you have an actual backup service, how the hell would you actually advertise it via uh, just uh, adware, you know, or just sneaky installs? I mean, like, 
just unbelievable to me. When your uh, backup software is viewed as a virus, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> anyway. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, so bear share is installed. You can see the icon down there. And I don't know. Just, it's annoying. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and revert. So, snapshot, revert to before software. And at this point, we'll load the snapshot. Restoring virtual machine state. And there you have it, folks. I don't really have anything else to show you, and I'm actually too busy right now to do any more. So uh, that's how you create a virtual machine, and that's how VMware works. And um, you will le learn to love snapshots. Just make sure you delete your snapshots after a while. They will grow. So, all right, guys. Um, I got to upload this, and my girls are starting to make. Bye.